y'all i have become the worst vlogger <laughs> i have become the worst vlogger i am so sorry let me take these earpods out i i don't know what this vlog is going to consist of i have clips from weeks so I think I'm just going to combine all of them together to make like one long vlog, I guess. I don't know because I picked the camera up. I vlog a little bit, then I put it back down and go about my life. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to get it together though. I'm going to get it together. But today is June 10th. <laughs> if you know, you know. If you know, you know. And we getting lit. I'm about to go find me something to wear. Um, me and Jalen, I said yesterday I was going to force her to get on the camera, but I didn't even pick the camera up at all. We went out to eat and everything. We had fun yesterday. And I didn't even pick the camera up. I am used to like just living in the moment now. I really don't pick my camera up, but I have to start back vlogging. I got to come talk to my homeboys and my homegirls. But I'm going to get it together, y'all. But, um, like I said, about to go find me something to wear. I'll come back and show y'all. I'm not vlogging in the mall. Because shopping is weird as heck right now. Do y'all see my skin? We getting it together, y'all. Slowly but surely, we getting it together. I don't have no makeup on. But we, we, we getting together. But, um, I'm lost my train of thought. It's a long clip. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm about to go find something to wear. And I'm going to come back and show y'all what I got. And then we're going to a Juneteenth party. My homeboy D and Keisha. If y'all seen my birthday vlog, they were in my birthday vlog. Yeah, so they're having an event and me and Jay going to the event together. So I may vlog at the event, I don't know. But if I do, it'll be in Eclipse coming up. Peace. I got y'all back. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Today is my off day, so I'm going to vlog. I need to get some candle jars, and I need to go get some fragrance oil for my candles. Um, what else do I need to do? I need to go to the gym. I really want to take this 30 plus minute drive to Trader Joe's because <laughs> if you know you know because mm -hmm. um, I want to try out some Trader Joe's coat favorites so I can make a Trader Joe's haul um, what else I gotta do um that's about it for today I just need to find candle jars fragrance oils go to the gym and go to the grocery store so that's what we're gonna do today. Right now, I am about to wash my face. I already brushed my teeth and wash my butt. Um, I'm gonna wash my face with the Clinique. I'll see if it, I don't know if y'all can see that. Foaming cleanser. It's the rinse off foaming cleanser. I've used this for years. It cleans my face really good. Then I have been using papaya soap and it's a complexion soap so the importance of papaya soap is to lighten up your skin i'm not really trying to bleach my skin at all i just really want to lighten up these dark marks and if you look at my old videos my skin is doing really well this is my skin doing really well okay now we got a few breakouts i'm ovulating so that's a given you know that's like period round number two because females can't catch a break. And then, um, for my toner, I'm using rose water. This is just my light face routine for the morning time. I'm saying morning, but it's probably like 12. Because <laughs> I got a late start this morning. Normally, I wake up around 8 o'clock at the latest. But, yeah. So, I'm just about to wash my face right now. And then... We headed out the door. Okay, we headed out the door. I just want to come on here and um, ask y'all what y'all been listening to. <laughs> of course, y'all know, y'all know, y'all know I've been listening to City on Log, okay? 
What's y'all favorite song on City Unlocked? Mine's, of course, is Jobs, Pussy Talk, I Like That Old Man, Flewed Out, Double CC's, Rodeo. Y'all, when I tell y'all, I have played this album through the entire album through at least 15 times now, y'all. I'm not skipping nothing. Okay, I'm not skipping nothing. We're going to give Carisha and JT they flowers, okay? JT giving me big Sagittarius energy. Carisha spitting, baby. Carisha got them bars for you this time. Like, don't play with my sis. Get off my sis's top, okay? Don't play with them. Don't play with them. Don't play with them. <laughs> Anyways, I'm about to do like a time lapse, I guess, of me washing my face. Because, you know, copyright. Because, you know, copyright. YouTube... YouTube and it's copyright you know, I'm like, no. That was my phone. Now, for real, as I wash my face, I do want to have a serious conversation with you guys because I feel like I can't get back on YouTube without addressing the situation at hand. And that is Black Lives Matter. My life matters. My brothers and sisters' lives matters. And when I say my brother and sisters, I mean all black people. We are all a family. Whether we like it or not, sometimes we are all connected. We are all one. We have to stick together. Because these people out in the streets don't care about us. We have to care about us. We have to care about us. We have to spend our money together. We have to support one another. I don't care about none of the beef that you got with your brother and sister out in the streets. Squash it. Squash it because it's bigger than this. It's bigger than this little petty beef that we be having going back and forth. It's, it's petty. It's petty. We got cops. Feeling like if you resist an arrest, that you deserve to die. I don't care if you're a guilty person. You do not deserve to die. You deserve to pay for your sins, pay for your consequences. You don't deserve to die. I don't care what you did. You don't deserve to die. You pay for your consequences. Karma, let karma come do her job. You don't take nobody's life. And then, I'm specifically speaking on the Rayshard Brooks case because it was in my own city. Now, if y'all don't know about the Rayshard Brooks case, he was at Wendy's sleeping and he was not in the driver's seat. He was actually in the passenger seat. And the employees or somebody in line called the police on him saying he was drunk driving. I don't think driving is sleeping in a passenger side of a car that was not a situation where he needed to lose his life period it's crazy how a taser is a deadly weapon when it is not in a police's hand when it's a police hand when it's in a police's hand Oh, you can utilize it. You can stop them. But as soon as you get a citizen with a taser, that's a deadly weapon. No, sir, no, ma'am. Nobody deserves to lose their life. It was multiple avenues that they could have took to let Mr. Brooks get home to his family. I'm sorry. It's nothing that they can say to me that makes that justified. Not one thing. Not one thing. That man asked politely, could he walk home? They could have gave him a ride home. They could have called him an Uber. He could have called his own Uber. He could have let somebody come get him. They could let him go get back in that car and go to sleep. Because he was doing the right thing. He was doing the right thing. So it's like, it's like no matter what we do, it's, it's always wrong in the eyes of the white man. It's always wrong. We protesting peacefully. It's wrong. You get the looting. It's wrong. Like, what? what is right? What is right? What is right? I don't get it. I what don't get it. What is right? What is right? And it's another thing that's going on with my sisters, us black women, feeling like black men don't stick up for us. And I'm not speaking for all, but it has been this thing going on on Twitter. I went to Albany State, if you don't know. And somebody made a page. And on this page, women and men are coming out speaking against people who have sexually assaulted them. And when I tell you, a lot of these names are people that I know. Some of the names I'm not surprised about. Um, I don't know if all of these are facts. But what I'm saying is I believe the victim first. I believe the victim first. And for people to get on the internet and victim shame somebody 
just because you quote unquote know them, you don't know them. You don't you don't really know these people behind closed doors. Just because you know your relationship with them personally don't mean you know them outside of that. You don't know what they do when they're not around you. So you can't say, oh, I know him. He would never do that. You don't know that. You don't know what they would do when they're not around you. You feel like they're going to do that to you. You don't know what they would do some, to somebody else. So listen to the facts or listen to the person talking. And if you have another opinion, keep that opinion to yourself. Because you don't know what that person did. And if it's multiple people coming out with the same type of scenarios that these same people are doing, I'm going to call it spade to spade. You know what I'm saying? I'm just calling it spade to spade and let it ride. But you do not victim shame. That's why people don't come out and speak against their abusers. Because the first thing they feel like, nobody's going to believe me. So when they come out and speak against their believers, I mean their um, abusers, and now uh, everybody, oh, he wouldn't do that. I know him. That's my homeboy. That If that was your homeboy, you would know you would know when I tell you that's your homeboy. You would have receipts on that nigga. Please best believe. If that was your dog, if that was your dog, you would go to your dog straight up and be like, bro, why is people on the internet talking greasy about you? Why is people on the internet saying that you sexually assaulted them? I don't fuck with people like that. I don't fuck with people like that. Excuse my language because I'm very passionate when it comes to sexually sexual assault. I'm sorry. I am. And when people come to me and they get the victim blaming and shit, that's when you gotta go. That's when you gotta go. I don't I don't associate myself with those type of people. Because at that point, then I feel like I cannot be safe around you if I'm in the vicinity of these same people. If I'm in the vicinity of other males and you're a female and you telling me I know him. I know him and this man tries me and I come tell you that this man tried me and you tell me that I'm lying. I would never lie on somebody top like that. I would never do that. So if you come to me and feel like I'm lying to you, I can't trust you. So I'm going to stay as far, as far, as far, as far as way as I can from anybody that does stuff like that. When I tell you I'm victim blaming is not where we going with this. Not where we going with this. And I just feel like as a whole, people are looking at 2020 as a bad year. I'm not looking at 2020 that way. To me, 2020 is... Let me wash my face. To me, 2020 is the year of growth. It's the year to shake all this shit up. We got, we're shaking all this shit up. We get to the bottom of all this. And people feel like we, could, we should focus on one thing at a time. I disagree. I disagree. We need to focus on black people having equal rights. We need to focus on black people having the same money as these white folks or better. We need to focus on black people getting our business together. We need to focus on supporting one another. Focus on our mental health. Get all these rapists and stuff up out of here. Get them all at the same time so when it's over and done with. And, and we can get it as close to perfect as we can. That's it. We ain't got to backtrack on none of this. So I really feel like it's okay for us to focus on everything at one time. I really do. I really do. I really do. And personally for me, 2020 is about growth. It's shaking up so much stuff in my life, y'all. It's teaching me how to communicate. It's teaching me that my ways of communication are sometimes flawed. It's teaching me how to communicate with my family. Year, year 28. This is year 28 for me, y'all. I am so uncomfortable right now. I'm uncomfortable with my living situation. I'm uncomfortable with my skin. I'm uncomfortable with my funds. I'm uncomfortable. Like, my my job, y'all, 28 is shaking me up. 28 is shaking me up. Oh, my God. It's shaking my relationship up. It's shaking me to the core, baby. But I am growing. I really feel like at the end of 2020, I'm going to look back. I'm going to look back and see so much growth because just within these last six months mentally i am better i'm learning how to communicate i'm learning that everybody doesn't communicate in the same way so if i got to sit there and talk you through how i'm communicating i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do that and it's making me want to talk to people i started going to therapy y'all i am growing up okay 
when I tell you when I get to my 30s, I'm going to be unstoppable. Baby, I'm going to be unstoppable, okay? Do you hear me? Unstoppable. But I just wanted to come speak on that, you know what I'm saying? Black lives will forever matter. Black lives matter since we were created, baby. We created all this. So don't you ever, as a black woman, as a black man, don't you ever feel inferior to white people. Because, baby, you are the originator. Do you hear me? You're the originator. We started this. So don't you ever let nobody feel like you beneath them. When I say that, don't you ever let nobody feel like you beneath them. And I'm done preaching to y'all. I'm about to finish washing my face. We about to get our day started. So I'll see y'all on the road, okay? I love y'all black people. If y'all got a black business... Drop it down below. I don't mind y'all putting y'all YouTube channels in the comments. Long as y'all come like, comment, and subscribe over here, we good. You know what I'm saying? I love my brothers and sisters. I want to see everybody prosper. I'm not no hater. I will spend my coins with y'all. So let me know. Because I need some swimsuits. I like jewelry. I like clothes. I like shoes. So come on. Come support me as well. Y'all, I have made it to Michael's. Let's see what they have in here. Hopefully, I find some good size jars for my candles. Also, I done came over here and they got a freaking home goods too. I done looked up. I like something like this size, this type of top. I think that is $2.99. Kind of. What size is this? I don't know. Don't say. Something like this or... Mm. I like this rope at the top too. No, nothing like that. They have these, but they have handles on there, and they 12 pack for ten dollars. But they too big. I don't want my candles that big. I really like this size. I really like this size right here, and they only two dollars a piece. But I don't like it with the words on it. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep looking. I'm gonna keep looking. I'm gonna keep looking and then I'm gonna come back. I really don't know what size jars I want, y'all. I'm just looking at a little variety right now. I don't know. But I kind of want to decorate the top of my jars with like. The little rope thing I just showed y'all. I like these lights too. I kind of want these from my room. Kind of want these. Fifty percent off apothic. Uh, I like fifty percent. I like these too. Yes. That's not what I came in here for. Y'all, I'm vlogging in public and I don't care about nobody looking at me either. <laughs> hey. I just need jars. I'm going to find some more jars and then I'm going to come back. Sorry if y'all can hear my AC is very hot. Um, but I was able to find 10 jars, um, some gift boxes, stickers, um, tags. That's what I was able to find, some rope. Uh, I'm about to go pick up my little brother from the house so he can help me film. And we still gotta find some fragrance oils at least 15 more jars for my testers and um, Trader Joe's.
That's what we gotta do. So I'll hit y'all back later. Hey y'all, we at Trader Joe's. And um <laughs> we experienced some weird shit in the parking lot. We are in um on Piedmont. And that's all I'm gonna say. But I'm about to go in here and get my stuff. <laughs> I don't care nothing about that. I'm going here and get my stuff. I'll vlog in the store and y'all see what I pick up later. We are in this line at Trader Joe's. And it's hot. And I'm hungry. And it's the worst time to go grocery shopping when you're hungry. So we're gonna do a Trader Joe's haul. I'm gonna sit down so y'all can see my whole head. This is bag number one. Trader Joe's haul time. So the first thing I got was some tomatoes for my avocado toast. Um I got the organic super bread. It has pumpkin seeds, flax seeds, sunflower seeds, carrots, dried apples and sesame seeds. This is what that looks like. This is going to hit on apple, avocado toast. Um, got the avocados. My brother got something called pancake bread. It says it's a twist on buttermilk short stack baked into a sweet moist loaf. And this is what he wanted so this is what he got. It's called pancake bread. Yeah. Um, I got some fettuccine with mushroom. Quick snack. This is what I'm about to make right now. It's called Mandarin Orange Chicken. Y'all heard this was bomb. I heard this was bomb, but we're about to find out tonight. I got two packs of those. And I got a thing of salmon. Salmon. You don't see me. So I said this is two packs of orange chicken. It's bag number one. Bag number two. Bag two. I got some um, spice chai black tea concentrate. So I'm gonna make spice chai tea. This is what that looks like. I love chai tea. And I know this is gonna be really good. I seen this is a part of the Trader Joe's Coke favorites as well as this chicken. So we gotta get it on top. And then I got some matcha green tea latte mix. Y'all know I love matcha tea. I love green tea, anything. And this is going to be a really good, easy drink. So I can get something else besides the water. Because that's really all I've been drinking. Then I got these cranberry and white chocolate oatmeal cookies. I really want to try this. I'm going to try this right now. First impression. Okay, so they soft. Ooh, y'all, they soft. Look. Oh, they so soft. They so soft. Mmm, my God. Yeah. This cook is so good. Oh, my God. Then I got some cookie butter spread. I don't know what, when I'm eating this, but I heard it's good. Ooh. And if you know, you know. If you know, you know, it speaks for itself. The everything bagels. Yeah, I got some stuck in my teeth. Ugh. Mm. Okay. Like I said, I got the Trader Joe's Everything But Bagel Sesame Seed Seasoning Blend. It comes with sea, sea salt, garlic, and onion seasoning. You can sprinkle it on everything. But y'all already know what I'm sprinkling it on. <laughs> Avocado toast. So, yeah. 
Este. Um, my brother got some Power Crunch Protein Energy Bars and Peanut Butter Fudge. Got two of those. I don't know why he got this random stuff. So it's bag number two bag. Oh no. So I've heard nothing but good things about these. So I wanted to try them and y'all I ate two. I already got this pack. They are the dark chocolate peanut butter chips. So it's like dark chocolate Reese cups and they are so good. They are so good. This is bag number three. Cause I got three of them things. Three of them things. I got some non-dairy oak, oat milk. Cause I wanted to try that. I wanted to try something besides almond milk. So I got oat milk. I got a prosciutto. No, a prosciutto, arugula, and burrata flat toast. I mean flatbread. I can't read that y'all got some. Flatbread. Got that. Then I just got a pizza parmino. It's a Italian sausage, pepperoni, roasted peppers, and onion pizza. This is that. <laughs> and y'all know I had to get the chicken tikka marsala. I got two of them things. Two of them things. Yes, ma'am. Uh, what's, what's the name of that? Um, what is it called? Style. Style something. They come in a bunch of different colors. Um, what is it called? Edge boost. Edge boost. Edge booster or something like that. Okay. Bye. Bye. Like I was saying before, my auntie interrupted me. I got some. Mango chunk, and this is going in my acai bowl. I didn't buy none of the ingredients for that because I already got it. And then the last thing I got is chicken tikka samosas. I used to have a co worker who was from Canada, and you know, they got all those Caribbean backgrounds and stuff up here. She used to make all of this stuff, it used to be so good. She used to make samosas from scratch. Oh my god! But that was the last thing that I got. I paid $89.76 for all of this stuff. Trying to see how many items I got. So that was 22 items for $89. That's not that bad. Yeah, but I'll holler at y'all later. I'm gonna go to the gym. I'll call y'all back. Um, I lunched. My Instagram for my candle beast. Um, let me try. I'm trying to find my phone so I can show y'all. So yes, I lunched. Ooh. Four, four, four. This is good. This is good, y'all. This is good. This is good. Okay, so I launched my Instagram for my. It is called House of Solace. Okay, and Solace means peace. Y'all so, go follow my business. We will be launching soon. I will have all the candles that you would like. Um, if you have a special request for your favorite candle, do not forget to DM us. We are taking all requests candle, candle orders. Um, whatever scent you want, you can send it over and I'll make it for you. You know, I'll add it to the collection. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, y'all, and support me. And if you have a black business down below in the comment section, put it in there. Put it in there so we can go spin our coins together, you know, get this money circulating. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. And I'll catch y'all later. Bye.